Yes. Tab and it's... Oh, that's gunky. Oh, wee. Something to go like that. Time to clean it then. Bit of diesel. It's inside of your scores. Okay, so today we're going to be cleaning a hydraulic slash transmission strainer. Uh, it's shown here. From a Yanmar 1860, so it's basically roughly all Yanmars, and it came. I'll show you where it came from. Should I might give you there should be a three time lapse at the start, but it just came from the back hole. So it came from let's see but it came a hole in there. So that's the transmission. So right there. That's the transmission. <coughs> that is the transmission slash lash hydraulics. Which as far as you know, does the transmission obviously and does the front loader. So because it was so today we are going to clean this. So what you need, you need like, you don't really need a toothbrush, but you need a toothbrush. Why well, use a toothbrush? Toothbrush, maybe a rag, a clean tub, and a bit of diesel. Okay, so just a quick warning on diesel. If you leave you like petrol and diesel in plastic tubs, they, tend, they might melt, so you need to be careful. All right, so. Okay, so we're going to start cleaning this. It's all full of gunk and, you know, yeah. It's horrible stuff. So, you don't need to feel like sort of submerged the, you don't need to, you know, you don't need to submerge the strainer in diesel, but just a wee bit, so half, I would say, half, quarter of it. Your, kind of your choice. You wouldn't get too big of a plastic tub, obviously, because you'll waste diesel. Because you wouldn't want to use diesel again, because obviously, Mucky stuff. Okay, so put that there. So blue. Sorry for the bumps, it's just tightening it. Thumbs the table. Okay, bit of diesel. It's quite heavy. Whoops. Not a bit Okay. So, where goes safety, you know. Don't want any you know, rubbish you know, diesel on it. You can already see all the bits getting in it. You don't want too many bits in the inside, though. It's, you know, clean inside diesel. So start and scrub. Really, that's all you need. Okay, so, um, basically, because, well, it's, because, yeah, it's toothbrush, yeah, to clean it out, but it's good enough, really. It's kind of just like, yes, there's bits there, but you know, not, not ordering you part. Someone's tried to clean it before, it's shown here, so you got to be careful. As there as well, so you got to be careful with these filters. But it's just, 
clean out the gunk like you can see there's a lot of gunk in this you see the bottom but you can't really see the camera but it's turned different colour there's so much dirt and gunk ugh, yucky stuff so what if you do because you soaked it in diesel if you do have like your transmission oil or transmission less hydraulic oil if you do have it on you i'd probably try and dry it with you know these you know make super absorbent towels or something like that try and get it all dry because you don't want diesel in your hydraulics and stuff like that so you want it all dry as dry as you can and probably leave it overnight if you could and just let it drip out and and once you've let it dry, you should probably bathe it in your transmission oil if you have some spare, just put it in a wee tub, let it soak. But, yes, just trying to dry it. And basically, I'll show you how I took it off in, in the next few minutes or seconds don't really know and I can show you the diagram so this is once again this is my first YouTube video so if you wouldn't mind subscribing that would be great and liking and if you need any help please say in the comments thank you if you're wanting to clean the inside inside of it you can you see in camera like e Inside of it, yeah. So what I would do, so you got to absorb the paper where you just get anything that really absorbs stuff, doesn't fall apart. Twist it, so it's kind of like, almost like this. And push it in. Just wiggle it around a bit. It's a bit weird. And that should help get and a deal on the inside out so because there are I don't know if you can see look there still is a bit of gunk I don't think you can see you know what focus look there's gunk so you can see like there well you can't see it but anyway there's gunk and if you've cleaned your diesel and toothbrush you know still leaves a bit of you know stuff left over in the corners and everything so if you've got an air compressor i'd recommend you use it but if you've got you know these air dusters for like you know cleaning smartphones and stuff i would recommend you probably want to use those just it won't make too much of a difference but if there's a bit bit you just cannot get off i'd give that a try and remember you know you don't want to push stuff into the filter you want to kind of push it out or push it along so, and obviously you don't want to touch this because this will give you, you don't want to get in the way of it because it will give you frostbite. So it's kind of just like pushing in between use. <laughs> you see. Bit inclined. Yeah, I'll just do it. Okay, so got to be pushing filter back in. Right, this is gonna be quite difficult. Right. I'd advise on doing this. Seeing your hand is not a good idea. I'm going to and don't make this mistake of what I did. To try and find so did the whole for it. Okay, so you can see here wait I've put the filter back in, so just be you can't really see it but it's it's in quite nice. I'll show a picture on the screen if I'm able to of what the inside looks like now. But just be careful when you take it out and know which way all the parts go up, so I believe this part goes at the bottom. So remember, only put one 
a screw and only screw it in a wee bit at each time. So you do not take a thread off this. Remember, if you're like, if you need a, what you call it, like, hammer it in a bit to get this out, be careful you don't hit the hammering, hammering it to get it off. Be careful not to hit the wee o ring. So yeah, if you hit that, that might not be so good. Okay. So, putting it in. And theory. Should be it. So we tap the hammer. Should be just fine. 